if I had to describe myself way back yonder, it'd be brash. I would typically do exactly what I thought I wanted to do, say what I thought meant to say without any thought as to how other people would respond. And that, that led to some unfortunate events of my own causing. Like, I ended up seriously pushing away and hurting some people that I cared about. And at the time, I didn't care. Going into high school, I never really shook off that middle school mentality. And, like, I didn't really bother to learn or really care about other people's opinions. I ended up joining the cross-country team, and that was... An event happened there that was actually really big for me. Uh, it's a cross-country run... It's about two miles downhill and then two miles uphill. I end up getting to the bottom of the hill. I end up uh, rolling my ankle basically right at the turnaround point. But out of the blue, one of my teammates, uh, a guy who I discounted just due to my worldview and my mindset, without prompt, he ends up offering to help walk me up the entire hill. And that, that event, for that to be really big. Because at the time, I built up this image of myself like, I'm a good person. I'm a good student. That means I'm a good person. And then I, I end up just asking him why. And he just says, because I can. And look, you looked like you needed the help. And just that act of, like, unasked for kindness that was offered without any hesitation, that stuck with me. Because I realized I wouldn't do the same for him, at least not without prompting. And, like, I'm not the person I think I am. And basically, my, my entire worldview at the time, how I looked at things, how I looked at myself, all of that kind of came crumbling down. And I guess that was the catalyst for my desire to change who I, how I acted, how I treated others, and myself in general, honestly. And so the next six months, year-ish, was spent trying to remake myself into someone who I was happy being. When I'm actually in the act of running, yes, the legs are aching, but if I actually end up pushing through the I don't want to do it part, the actual mental game of like, I can keep on doing this, I'm only running against myself, I'm doing this for me, you get away from the academics, you get away from the incessant little things of daily life. And so you're just left with you, yourself, and I, I guess. It gives you time to be just just be without the stress and stresses and uh, demands of modern life because it builds the mental fortitude and that's something that I want for myself. I cannot go back to where I was. I don't want to. I don't want to be that same person. I want to be the best person I can be, even if that's really difficult. 